Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for May 27 through to May 30, 2015. A strong coronal hole formation has rotated the eastern limb of the solar corona. Now we also have very low solar x-rays over the last week and this will continue for the upcoming week and the prospect of very low solar wind speeds as well. This combination represents a potential for a 7 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We're now focusing our attention to the eastern limb of the solar corona where we see two strong coronal hole formations which are of note and both positive polarity. CH670 located in the northern hemisphere of the solar corona is small and also a little scattered and the stronger coronal hole formation in the southern hemisphere and larger CH669 will be the main focus for a potential 7 magnitude earthquake during this watch period. We're now looking at a series of solar images using filter ranges 193, 174, 131 and 211 angstrom images where we see a broad spectrum coronal hole formation showing itself in all of these images quite clearly. We see that the southern hemisphere coronal hole formation is much stronger and has more dynamic features and I'm expecting a very strong earthquake to be registered around 8 to 15 degrees south latitude during this watch. With active regions on the solar corona having very weak field strength the x-ray background is at very low levels, so we are expecting very low solar activity for this coming week, with the only source of activity could possibly come from this large magnetic filament which is positioned directly behind both coronal hole formations. So we can theorise if this magnetic filament decides to release itself off the solar corona in an earth facing position, the resulting coronal mass ejection will disturb the high speed solar wind stream coming from this coronal hole formation and possibly prevent a strong earthquake from occurring. We're now going to use the shape of this coronal hole formation to locate areas on the Earth that could receive this potential 7 magnitude earthquake. There is a very strong symmetry to the Solomon Sea. Now this area has already been affected with a series of earthquakes over the last few weeks, with earthquakes in the New Britain region and also the Bougainville region. Now this strong symmetry indicates another shape could be possible for the region or the periphery of the Solomon Sea. So this may indicate another series of earthquakes for the region during the time frame of May 27 through to May 29. The shape of this coronal hole formation does have strong symmetry to South America, specifically the central Peru and also southern Peru regions. Now the shape and periphery of this coronal hole formation may indicate an offshore earthquake for the region if it does strike in this zone. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE where we have solar wind speeds currently sitting at 388 km a second and falling. Now we should see this continue to fall up until May 25th. This is when this high speed solar wind stream coming from this coronal hole formation impacts the Earth's magnetic field. Now we should see solar wind speeds rise to around 500 km a second and then fall. This is the earthquake translation coming from this coronal hole and we should see an earthquake manifest sometime from May 27th through to May 30. And now for the earthquake forecast, there are four regions of note during this watch. South of Java, Indonesia will be my number one area of concern. The eastern periphery of the Solomon Sea will be my second area of concern, specifically isolating the Solomon Islands and the Santa Cruz Islands region. My third area of concern is northwest of Madagascar, specifically the Comoros region. Now events here are extremely rare. And my fourth and final area of concern is for central or southern Peru for a potential 7 magnitude earthquake for the period of May 27 through to May 30. This earthquake forecast was logged on the website 1100 UTC. I then created a YouTube video which followed and this was uploaded at 4am my time and was going to be made public during the day. But since then we've had two very strong earthquakes in the Solomon Islands, 6.9 and 6.8 magnitude. This occurred approximately five hours after making the video. So I thought I'd re-upload with the extra information to update people. These very significant earthquakes are important as they are featured in this watch. And there's also strong coronal mass ejections that also need to be discussed as well. Two very powerful coronal mass ejections have been released from the Sun May 16 and also May 22. These were powerful eruptions, but far side. These have obviously come from active region 12339, which produced the X-class solar flare on its last rotation on May 5th. Now this active region isn't due to rotate the Earth-facing side of the disk until June 1st, so solar activity should remain quiet. We should therefore expect a rise in X-ray background towards the end of this watch period, May 29 and 30. Now this shouldn't affect the high-speed solar wind stream at all, so I don't expect any disturbance from this uh, large active region rotating the limb, so this earthquake watch should be unaffected. 
We do need to note, as sun diving or sun grazing comet was observed approximately an hour before this very large coronal mass ejection released from the sun. The two strong earthquakes in the Solomon Islands did have strong planetary geometry associated with double planetary oppositions as well as a double yacht aspect. Now, I won't be doing any more planetary alignment videos on this channel due to an insane video suggesting a magnitude 9.8 will occur on May 28 with absolutely no validity whatsoever. So I will be removing myself from making planetary alignment videos publicly and they will be available in my long-term forecasting in newsletters and available on the SolarWatch.net website. I have almost completed the July and August newsletters. They will be available in around three to four days on the website. And for more information on this line of work and research, please visit SolarWatcher.net and there will be more content available for members and subscribers. Annotations and results of this watch will be added during and also at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.